Lucero shipyard is a strategic point for the Dominion. Gorgon battlecruisers are repaired here after taking damage in combat. The shipyard's coordinates are classified, but Davis is aware of them, and the top-ranking defenders still support her. But what is she planning on doing? It looks like she left her ship to activate the Xanthos. It's an experimental war machine with an array of heavy assault weapons. She's going to use it to finish off the fleet. Valerian can't hold on to the Dominion without these ships. How can I take it down? The Xanthos features prototype armor plating that will repel direct attacks. But if you target its weapons individually, you can bring them offline and force her retreat. The Xanthos will be vulnerable to attack while it's repairing. They'll likely retreat to a secure area during the process. Breaking through their fortifications and striking then is your best chance to destroy it, Nova. Of course. It always comes down to me. There it goes. Hello, welcome. This is the actually the slightly difficult version of this um, uh, game here. Uh, so, uh, well, the, probably the most difficult mission in this entire uh, thing on Brutal. So, I'll uh, just to go over the basic strategy, we're rushing the mission. It gets extremely difficult uh, the later we let it go on. And there's actually a way we can just rush it. It's just so we don't have to kind of deal with the attacks too much. And this is the best way I figured out how to uh, essentially deal with us. So, uh, first things first, there's a couple of, uh, I guess, nice ones or musts. Um, I would say definitely get the cloak detection. It will help for your base defense, so definitely get that. We also get a new upgrade here. It's a ion force field. Um, it, it reduces incoming damage to a maximum of 10 until a total of 500 damage is absorbed. It lasts for 10 seconds. Um, take this one. If for whatever reason you didn't get this from the last mission, I suggest go back and do it. It's actually a really nice um, upgrade for this and very useful. And I use the Psionic Amplification Suit once again because it just adds life, energy, and you get to spam all your abilities. And as for the weapon, um, I mean, there's two that work. Um, either the blade, um, and you should have this no matter what, I guess, or I guess the, the, the gun blade. I mean, this one actually works pretty well for this as well, um, either one, because uh, this uh, this one also attacks air and deals with uh, the attacks that come, so I would actually suggest this one, but however, if for whatever reason you are you don't have it, you can always go back to the, the this blade. This is actually not a huge difference, I'd say, because you just need it to repel attacks and do heavy damage to the, uh, the little robot thing that they were talking about in the briefing. That's what I suggest for that. As for these guys, um, first off, Battlecruisers. Uh, give them the regenerative bio steel. Give them that. Uh, that is the more. That's the most important thing. Uh, ravens, I would maybe make with spider mines, and I'll show you why we do that. And it's going to make the mission a little bit easier uh, when I show you how that works. Um, and as for everything else, I don't think it truly matters. Um, I mean, just jump jet tanks or whatever. I don't really make too much more of this stuff. Uh, maybe mag rail munitions on the marauders because we get like two of them at the beginning. I can't think of much else to do with this stuff, but it's the battle cruisers that are the most important part, and maybe slightly the ravens. But I, it's kind of a side thing that I kind of do. Probably not that important. Um, and so that's it. Uh, so as I said, we're rushing this mission, uh, and I guess you'll see how I'm going to do it. Hello and welcome. The Xanthos is currently located here, Nova. Admiral Horner has positioned his forces around the docked battlecruisers. Also, I thought it would be useful to listen in on the defenders' communications again. Prepare to move out. We will die for Arcturus before we serve his murderer. So we put the factory on that side, uh, that up here, and spaceport kind of in the side of our base to defend it. We also have to start with an orbital command, so you can use that right away to double your supply depots. Excellent. And our first attack comes from here. So we're just uh, rushing expo, particularly rushing gas. Believe it or not. General, it appears we have company. It's the ghost who escaped. Of course it is. We'll handle her. SCV ready. So we're going to start by making a tech lab here and a reactor for here for Marines, uh, which we will do all in due time. Both pretty important shit and 
probably also start making one Ghost Academy. Probably like three or four mooks, nukes, and then we're gonna just uh, let her do a little blade attack here. Get over here, piece of shit. Nobody lives. It's it's not it's not about it's about the message, guys. All right, now the next attack comes from over there, so that's what we're gonna focus on next. Continuing to get gas where we can, and we're also going to make our fusion core next. If you if you want, you can actually make a um, a raven for some mines and shit, but I'm not going to do that. So, um, just saying, it, it is something you can do. I wouldn't be doing my job here if I didn't tell you every single avenue. Alright, so they're going to start moving out, so we're going to start moving in right here. Just to take them all out, and we continue to work on our... Nova should be okay. My scans show the Xanthos moving toward a Gorgon. Get ready to counter it. Its weapons array is powering a flamethrower and an armor-piercing railgun. You speak in my language. So we can kind of have the tanks in the corner here, and Nova's going to absorb maybe a bit of damage during this uh, sequence, but we need her for our damage first. And also we can start working on uh, these star ports. We need another one too. Okay, good. She's doing both. That railgun is like the worst thing in the world though. There we go. Doesn't matter if you lose your units, you literally do not care. Head back for repairs. We'll return with greater firepower. The Xanthos is vulnerable now, Nova, but you'll have to fight your way to it. Not enough minerals. Alright, let's start our first battle cruiser. So for the next fight we need at least four, preferably like five. That would be the ideal. Um, so aim for five. We don't want to stop making SCVs either, so you're in, you're in like a tough predicament here about what's the most ideal thing for you to be building. We got our first nuke too. Uh, actually, I forgot that we actually have two resources down here, but we can just send this guy back. It's fine. Nova, this is Hyperion Actual. We're readying an assault on the Defender's forces guarding the Xanthos. Sounds like a party. I'll bring some reinforcements. So we're not making marines yet. We're trying to get our battle cruisers out first. But SCVs are more important right now. Like we stockpiled a more than enough Vespin. And yeah, he's just gonna do whatever. So like just let him just let him do whatever he wants. He just wants to be feel like he's a part of the, the fight or whatever, you know. Here's our first battle cruiser. And as you can see, we can actually start kind of producing them now. Um not We're not quite in the best states for this, but we also need an additional supply depot. So every time you put a supply depot down, hey, you know, toss toss something right on top of that. That's all we can take. Heading back for now. And I think, that, yeah, this is the attack he fucked up on. So let's get the last battle cruiser. So that's gonna be our four. All right. Next attack comes from over here, so we're just going to move there immediately. And we're going to continue to make SCVs, although now we're going to need one more of these guys. Actually, we can now both go kind of over here. And now the battle cruiser. Nuclear missile ready. Yes, Commander. Nova here. So we're so far pretty good. And now we can actually probably start making Ready minions. another attack. We've already taken too long. Not enough minerals. I changed my mind because we're doing the battle cruiser still. And Marines will just kind of pile up in the in the middle of the base here. Say again? So even though she's about to attack another area, uh, we don't actually do anything about it. Not right now, anyways. Not enough minerals. Davis is navigating the Xanthos to a Dominion Gorgon. They've activated a new bay capable of deploying air superiority fighters. Confirm that last. All right. Now the battle cruiser is going to just tactical jump right to here, and Nova will just move over there regularly. And we can now use more supply depots. We 
can probably also make this guy into a normal guy. Alright, first things first. Focused on that fucking railgun. Thing's a piece of shit. Okay, maybe don't send them in quite yet. There we go, now we can do it. Alright, we need to kind of micro back and shit like that. We may lose this battle cruiser though, and we lost one. And Nova did die. And unfortunately, our microwing has not been the best. What we'll probably do is we'll just tactical jump in the way as soon as they get low. There we go. Alright, now, don't ever stop making marines here. And we're good to go. Just, uh, I just, because we have more than enough resources now. So we should be just about ready to go with these battlecruisers. It's not the ideal amount, but we can, we can at least start... I think we're missing some. What the fuck? Why didn't these guys come join them? Oh, because they, they, their shit was on cooldown. Yeah, these guys kind of didn't, weren't able to come over here. But the idea is you get one to basically absorb that, the initial hit. I'm leading another charge against the Xanthos. You're welcome to join in, Nova. Yes, what is it? Take it slow. One absorbs the initial hit, and the rest of them kind of do whatever they want. And we're going to continue making marines. And some more supply depots. So we're just kind of edging our way into this right now. Uh, no sexual Indiando intended. Okay, this guy needs to back off right now. Protect the Santos! All right, let me just make sure that, okay, Nova needs to kind of go like somewhere like right here. Oh sh what the fuck are these guys doing? Good. You are authorized to strike the enemy. The Hyperion needs time to recover from that. We're leaving for a bit, Nova. It's because you suck. All right, nuclear launch is happening right over here. If it, if it happens like, yeah, there he is right there. He's nuking right there. So we kind of, uh... Yeah, he nuked his own guys. What a nice fight. I mean, what a nice fella. Alright. And we got some nice shit here, actually. So we're just kind of, uh... Focusing everything we can down. Where's this guy? Shit. Okay. Now we basically focus down the exposed weakness. I don't know if I should send these two guys in though. I think this is enough. We need to do it before it's fully repaired. So you fought your way here. You're a good soldier, Nova. But so am I. Uh, let's get out of there. Nova, the Xanthos is transforming. This combat mode was classified, even from me. I don't know what you'll be facing. Okay. That was a bit close, but it required a bit of micro. I was saving the nuke for when they came and attacked, and it kind of worked out, but we're not out of the woods yet. Um, the hard part is essentially over, um, so if you want, this could be a good sa time to save. I'm going to actually save here. Save before you jump the battle cruises, and save just before this part. So you want to clear this out, because this, this is where it's going to be. Um, this is where the Xan Xanthos is going to go. And we're just going to jump to all these guys. Oh uh, yeah. I'm just gonna focus all this shit down. It will be here soon. I assure you quite, quite honestly. So we're gonna save her nuke for a moment. And we're gonna try and like you model this shit out of uh, it when it comes over. Insufficient Vespine gas. So, all you have to do is finish it off, um, so just use everything at your disposal. A bit of micromanagement might be required. 
But we'll see, you, you can see kind of how I do it. So I'm just gonna focus all my Yamato stuff on the core of it right away. Unfortunately, I can't really see it. Okay, I really wish that shit she died. I still need more forces. If we fail today, we lose the Dominion. All personnel to my position. We have risked everything for this. Oh boy. All right. Yeah, that was really bad micro on my part. So we'll try that one more time. Loud and clear. All right, we're gonna try a different approach. I'm gonna let Nova stay out. While the battle cruisers just go in and have and have a good time. This definitely is not the easiest part either. I still think the hardest part is the initial assault. So the ideal time to strike. He's slow at turning. So you really have to just pick one target. So it's slow, both slow at turning, and it's not very good at dealing with them. Um, yeah, it's like to surround it and uh, get nobody to here. nuke it or whatever. So got it. This is going to be the strategy we basically go for. We're going to let him go after them, and then we're going to kind of hop in as well. Oh, really? Confirm that last. Okay, I'm telling them all to go target that. Okay, she just ate all of that. I still need more forces. If we fail today, we lose the Dominion. Trying to kind of go around it. All personnel to my position. We have risked everything for this. All right, I think we're good, ish. Oh, that was barely enough. It is done. Preliminary scans show some injuries among the crew, but Davis is still alive. However, the communications channels are chaotic. She hasn't spoken since the crash. Just send me her last known coordinates. I'll find her myself. Of course. Status report. Strictly business. Davis should be just ahead. She seems to be alone. Good. November Terra. I knew your family when you were a child. We were all part of the same circles back then. The same side. The past doesn't matter. I have made mistakes, and I will pay for them. I know why you're coming here. You think you're going to do the right thing. What you don't realize is that if you do this, you are no better than I am. Think on that before you act. I will say no more. Consider it. Ah, uh, you don't have a choice, so. Go to hell. Nova, what have you done? What have you done? And, uh, well, that's pretty much it for that. I mean, you can lose a couple of Gorgons if you want, if you need more time to to get the attack. But in my personal opinion, if you wait until the third attack uh, to basically go and run, and like, this is why I did the Battlecruiser rough. If you wait for the third attack, um, the third attack will probably wipe you because Battlecruiser, uh, Battlecruiser, they're too slow to dodge anything. Uh, so that's why we try and do it ASAP. And as for doing the, d dealing with the, um, whatever the fuck it's called, the, Zan the Xanthos, uh, dealing with it before 
I mean, the minute it kind of activates that super laser thing and starts to come down, you can actually wait until you have more battle cruisers or something. But it means losing some of the Gorgons, um, which is totally okay to do because it'll just go from Gorgon to Gorgon until it wins. Um, but it gives you time to build up. So if you need to build up, uh, just do that. But I'm just showing you it is possible barely to do it without having to do that. It just requires a pretty crazy amount of micro and shit. So uh, I guess we're done the game. So let's go. deliberately disobeyed the Emperor's orders. But then I knew him before he was the Emperor, when he was only the Crown Prince, and his primary interest was artifacts. I joined his Mobius Foundation dreaming that I'd invent things to astound the Sector. Instead, I destroyed my career. This is the only life I have left. The same as you. Why are you telling me this? The crew is loyal to you alone, Nova. We will go wherever you lead. The Dominion's always going to have problems. They'll need us to solve them our own way. And finally, an update on the attempted coup by the Defenders of Man. Tensions have subsided in the Dominion after Emperor Valerian regained control of the government and released all of the related evidence in a public report. Our polls show that most people feel the Emperor was justified in using lethal force against General Davis, given the danger she presented. What should we do about Nova? Hmm. Let her go. For now. There you go. You got your cliffhanger ending. And just fast forward this shit. Good luck, have fun, see you on the battlefield, etc. Uh. Yeah, so. Um, this was, I guess, their first attempt at some sort of, like, as I said, short mission pack add on thing. And. It lacks a lot of the production quality that you would expect, like completely. And it doesn't seem like the credits are actually speeding up or just well, we have to watch this thing go through. It, there is something very lacking in some of these missions with regards to the amount of ways, interesting ways you have of going through them. Like, I, I have to say, um, it, uh, destroying the bases in almost all the missions, like the enemy bases, it means absolutely nothing. It doesn't stop anything. The, the map is just triggered to work all the same, even without the stuff. So they just have, kind of have their own spawn locations and they come in. It's not them building a force to come after you. Uh, more than a couple of glitches are around. Um, and I have to say, at least for the last mission, the difficulty curve goes insane. Um, like you just would have to try it out to see what I'm talking about, but it is pretty crazy how bad that difficulty curve gets. Um, and that's why I figured the best way to do it was actually just to rush it, and I barely did it. Um, second last one was pretty bad too, until I figured out it's a 
just a small amount of forces coming in at a time, and if you just send SCVs in, they actually hinted at, at you in the briefing to do that. And that's how it was balanced, is to have a force that can deal with a little bit of things at a time. And so, I don't know why, I, I didn't think I would be able to, when I initially did it, I didn't think I would be able to cover it in that way, I thought it would be too difficult, but apparently Liberators and a couple of battle cruisers are enough to just kind of win the day with that one, which, which I found to be really weird. Um, but the last one, the last one is pretty difficult because I've tried a couple of strategies like Goliaths. I've tried, I beat it on hard initially with Banshees. Um, but as I said, I think it just gets too difficult on Brutal the longer it goes on because you're going to sustain losses um, every time it attacks. I'm not sure what the intended solution is um, or what they bounced it for. It could be some kind of heavy mech lineup or something or heavy infantry lineup. But as you can see, the the way I chose to do it was to do it with um, battlecruiser cheese kind of thing, and I and I actually found that to be the best way of dealing with it because you don't sustain any losses. Then it, you just kind of rush it and then you win. Um, that's just kind of how I did it. So, um, as for the upgrades, the upgrades are fucking useless. Most of them. I mean, they're they're meme upgrades. Like there's like the the jumping tanks, the jump the jumping Goliaths, um, fucking healing like yourself no tech lab that was probably the most disappointing part of this whole thing it, 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 i mean the the nova stuff was kind of the most interesting part which which was you had her on the battlefield and she had a bunch of like um interesting guns and suits and shit like that and grenades although a lot of the time there wasn't a huge amount of variety because you wanted to have certain loadouts for certain missions like there were some that i never used i mean that that suit where you got to dominate one unit <clears throat> never used it because it doesn't work on motherships, doesn't work on big units. I mean, it, it just, you get one unit and that one unit can be like a carrier or something. That's the best you can get out of it. Um, or like a void ray or an immortal. It's like, why? And I don't think it's really that great. Um, that was actually the most disappointing part of the whole thing. Um, it's just, they, 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 it looks like it's a lot of variety, but it really isn't because a lot of it isn't any good. Or the other choices are just much better. Um, it was a nine mission little thing. This story is really fucky at times. Like, it's just what in this shit is going on. I mean, the whole thing, his whole plan with, I'm going to go surrender the Dominion and then kind of not doing that. It's like, like just, it was just a ruse kind of thing. Like it, it was such a shitty cliffhanger <laughs> when you think about it. I mean, you get, you, I guess like, cause I did this so late, you got to see it all at once. Um, and I, and I only did it like. I only did my initial run through the game like pretty much as soon as it was all ready because that's when I finished um, uh, Legacy of the Void. I'm like, hey, I'm just going to go into uh, the Nova Covert up stuff, stuff right now. So it wasn't very good uh, in that sense. Like the story kind of went, it was sort it started kind of interesting, although it's a bit confusing. It's basically like, um, what was it? Marsara, I think. Like it's, it is a location on in the SC universe that you've probably heard of before. But I think the idea was that they came back to it after the whole Zerg invasion, repopulated the planet. And this is apparently what you did as you came in and put the Psy emitters there and now it's fucked by Zerg again. So apparently that planet can't catch a break. Um, so Nova had absolutely nothing to do with like the events of the first SC. Like the, the, it was only in the second one that she did this stuff. This is as far as I know. I'm, try I'm trying to, my best to kind of explain it away. Um, so the story was obviously kind of like this whole thing of um, um, you're supposed to see commonalities between Cor Sons of Korhal and Defenders of Man. Um, I mean, it, w it like it was directly kind of like a shoot off story of that, and it was it started okay. It started okay. I didn't mind it, um, and then it just kind of devolved into what the fuck is going on here, um, and then. The whole thing with Nova killing her at the end. It's like, you don't have a choice. It's just one option. That's to do that. And then, obviously, the open-ended uh, ending, too. So they can sell some more DLC packs or whatever. Just kind of whatever. Um, it just... I, I, it's hard to tell when it kind of turned kind of meh. But it was just at some point. It was just, what the fuck is going on now? Um... I don't know. As I said, I wasn't too crazy into uh, the story. I mean, I, I was playing this for the kind of the, the challenge and gameplay and stuff like that. And just I like finding interesting strategies around some of these missions. Not really uh, anything else with it. Um, <clears throat> anyways, it's just that's pretty much all I have for that. 
Um, I mean, gameplay wise, it was pretty fun. Um, it was pretty, there was some challenges involved and stuff like that. So I, I would say it was good for that. Um, but it's once again, it's like I bitched about at the end of uh, my, uh, <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice. Um, at the end of, um, my legacy of the void stuff, I complained how, um, the, I always feel like you're paying more than for what you're getting. Uh, so this is like 15 bucks for all three of these. And I don't think it was really worthwhile. Um, I mean, that's, that's up to you guys, but like, it's just, do you get less value? I feel, I mean, there was no cutscenes involved with this really. It was the in-game cutscenes. So the, the actual people who make the, the super cutscenes didn't do anything for this. I mean, they only had a couple of voices, like they had Alarak and some other bullshit. So that was it for that. Um, I don't know. It, it just, it wasn't great. It's just nine missions for 15 bucks. And you, for this, I had like 27 missions for, uh, or something like that. It's 26 for 40 bucks. And then it all, uh, it actually all dropped in price now. So, I mean, uh, you know, and the thing about the missions all being centered around Nova, who just is like some hero on the map, it's not very StarCraft or very RTS like. It's just kind of, there and like there's some like there was a couple where she just kind of soloed everything like that there was that one in particular i just ignored everything and just went right for the end with her because i'm like there's no fucking point like there's no optional objective that she can't do in that map um there's the one with the you step in the beacons and she like gets high on terrazine and shit what the fuck was the deal with that like it just it's kind of ridiculous the story sometimes i'm just i don't know i'm not i'm not into it i haven't been into it for the for the entirety of this entire thing this is their first time i think this is when um who's that guy um fucking he left he retired recently shit i don't, I don't have my phone so i can't look it up i, I think that guy's like mike something or some some bullshit like what, what's his name fuck where's the credits here we go maybe i'll find his name really fast here because he, he's been writing the stories for this shit and then he just retired um so he's like no longer involved in any of this fucking crap uh, so hopefully it actually listens to me when I say, say to speed it up. Where is he? Okay, Dustin Browder is a hack. No, I'm just joking. Um, he's, he's a meme lord. Oh, Chris Metzen, that's it, not Mike. Metzen is the one. Metzen's gone now. So was did Metzen have anything to do with that? I'm, I'm guessing he may have, or is he? did he retire now? Okay, this is gonna take forever. So I don't know if, how much Metzen... I, I, I honestly kind of think it's Metzen that's fucking these up, but... Uh, that's that's a good question. He's apparently an original writer in SC1, so it's like, what the fuck happened between like World of Warcraft and now? Who knows? He went through something. I'll tell you that. Um, so, yeah, the plot was just kind of like, it fell apart. I think they just, I don't know if they just were rushing it at the end. Just, they didn't know how to finish it or something. I don't know what the fuck the deal was, but I mean, it, was, it seemed kind of out of character and stuff because she's supposed to be loyal to the Dominion or something, and then now she's like, um betraying the dominion sort of and being like a fucking edgelord and stuff I, like I, I don't know why they did that I, i'm assuming they're just gonna come out with more of this stuff so it can be whatever i mean i'll i'll i'll, I'll tell you now i'm gonna probably just touch upon it anytime they release something new a new mission pack for the stuff i'll do it um because it was it was interesting enough i mean it's just it's not my, they don't do it that often so i mean it's it's probably worth my time uh, to do it, uh, but campaign wise, there was some, there was a lot of confusion, like the UI was just like, uh, there was apparently UNN things that I didn't realize I could click, but you actually could like they, and it, I just it couldn't see it on the interface at all. For some reason, it was like kind of blended in. And I just saw some random shit that was there in the background, never tried to click it. <laughs> and apparently that had a bit of like, it wasn't really like, it, it was kind of story issue. It was just like news broadcasts that you could have saw. And I, since I didn't, wasn't doing it from the beginning, I'm like, fuck it. Like, nobody ever told me that was the thing. Like, like I'm, I'm telling you now, like, we, I streamed this thing, and nobody said, or maybe someone said, and it was just kind of lost somewhere, but I'm pretty sure nobody told me that there was a UNN thing there. Not blaming everyone else. I'm, I'm putting the blame on solely upon myself and Blizzard for not making that kind of more obvious, I think. Actually, I didn't even know there was an equipment screen, actually. I think the first time I went through it. So, you know, I'm a I'm perceptive little bitch, so what are you going to say? I will admit to that, but it was fun going through the brutal stuff and uh, oh yeah, the, some of the upgrades were very useless as I mentioned. Um, I had absolutely no idea that the Ravens actually had, I didn't hover over their skill, so I didn't know their defense drone was actually a healing thing. 
because they didn't change the icon or anything. And so I just kind of assumed it wasn't any different. So that wasn't a very good, that wasn't a very good call on their part. It was very bad um, in that regard. Uh, as I said, it just, it's lacking a lot of that polish that I would expect. And um, I mean, they just, they, they kind of rushed it. So anyways, with that being said, I'm done with my, my RTS binge. Uh, so probably some, it'll be a while before I touch RTS again. Uh, so that's it. We're probably doing some FPS shit next. So, um, uh, as I said, hope you like me going through this stuff. And, uh, as I said, if they release some more campaign stuff like this, I will run through it. And, uh, yeah. So I apparently didn't get all the achievements, but that's, that's okay. I think it was just mostly shit I didn't really care about. Like, uh, the, I, I think I had to do Yamato cannons in one mission or something. Do we really care about achievements though? I don't feel like I achieve anything when I do this stuff. I just feel like it's a grind. Like, hey, you know, don't allow Nova to be damaged by the Warhawk. I don't even know how she got damaged by it last time. Did I exceed 35 supply? Yeah, it's like, just fuck all this. So, alright, that's it for that. So, thanks for watching, take care, goodbye.